Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah, one thing very clear tonight is that when we look at the lives of other people, people who are respected by many of the Muslims, people who were respected by the Holy Prophet وسلم, by Imam Ali وسلم, people who were very close, right? People who, let's say, were companions of Imam Kadhim When we look at these individuals in their lives, number one, we're looking at them for ourselves. We're not looking at them to pass judgment on someone else. We're looking at it so that we can make sure that we don't have similar slips, right? When our tests come. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about history. Okay, we're gonna be looking at history. Now, what we need to get straightened out is how do we look at history, right? Before delving into a topic and me just coming up here and starting to talk about so-and-so individual and this and that and so on and so forth and let's take lessons, how do we need to think, okay? And, you know, we're out here in Los Angeles, you know, where a lot of times, you know, you know Hollywood is pushing fairy tales, okay? They're pushing fairy tales. We don't want to be pushing fairy tales, right? One of our great Maraja, he said, you know, I just heard a clip today, he said the member of Abu Abdullah al Hussein is to clarify and tell the truth. Right? I'm not up here to tell you guys fairy tales. We've heard fairy tales our whole life. Okay? We're up here to figure out what's the truth. Right? We're trying to figure out what the truth is and act on the truth. But unfortunately, when we look at history, sometimes we look at it like fairy tales. So I have a two year old son. My son, Ali Qasim, he picked up this new thing, and I'm not really fond of it, but I want to mention it here, he picks up this new thing where he starts calling people bad guys, okay? So like today, you know, he's like pointing to the Chips Ahoy, and he's like, you know, let me get one of those, you know? And I'm like, you know, hey, you know, we have to eat our food. And so, you know, he, I said, we gotta eat the food first, you know, Chips Ahoy, we'll think about it later. And he's like, Baba's a bad guy. <laughs> And he doesn't mean it, you know, a few seconds later, I'll give him his car, I'll play with him, we'll play football, and he'll say, okay, no, you know, good guy, right? So don't go and ask him, you know, who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, right? We're trying to get him out of this, right? Well, why are we trying to get him out of it, and why am I trying to get you and I out of it? Because, brothers and sisters, looking at history this way doesn't benefit us. This is not fairy tales. These were real people who lived real lives, who had to make real decisions, really hard decisions. And unless we appreciate that aspect of them, unless we delve deep into their life and appreciate who they were, what they were about, how close they were, let's say, to the Ahl bayt we're not going to be able to appreciate the fall. We're not going to be able to learn from the fall. All right, so let's say, for example, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to talk about Zubair. Okay, if we just say Zubair, you know, bad guy. You know, he, he, fought, he, he raised an army against Imam Ali at the Battle of Jamal. No, we've lost the plot. We've missed the boat. We've lost a huge opportunity to learn from someone who at one point, Imam Ali alayhi salam called him Minna Ahl al-Bayt. He's from amongst us the Ahl al-Bayt. The same way the Prophet said about Salman Farsi. Okay, so what happened? So we're going to talk about tomorrow. Right? But we have to be able to see people in a real light.